Hey guys, Michael from Cocker Chemistry. In this video, we'll be talking about how to calculate the Ka or the acid dissociation constant of an acid. And we're going to do so by using a shortcut. So this problem asks us, what's, it asks us to calculate the Ka, and it gives us the, the pH of the acid as well as the concentration of the acid. So we have the concentration, we have the pH of the acid, and we have to solve for the Ka or the acid dissociation constant. The way that we do it is by, we use, by using the shortcut that Ka equals x squared divided by the concentration of the acid minus x, where x equals the concentration of H plus, which is equal to 10 raised to the power of negative pH. So let's apply that to this problem. We'll start, first start by solving for x. So x is going to equal 10 raised to the power of the negative pH. Our pH is 4.95, so negative 4.95. Then now that we have x, Let's plug it into the Ka expression. So x squared, it'll just be this value. Let's move this a little lower. That value squared, and then divided by the concentration of the acid, which is 0 0.063 minus our x value. OK, now let's plug this into the calculator and see what we get. We'll start by doing 10 to the negative 4.4.95 squared, and then divided by 0 0.063 minus 10 to the negative 4.95, and then that gives us roughly about 2 to the power of negative 9. So that's what's the Ka is equal to: 2.0 times 10 to the negative 9, and that's how you can quickly solve for the Ka of an acid with. Ka equals x squared divided by the concentration of acid minus x, where x is equal to the H plus, which is equal to 10 raised to the negative pH. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.